Hello everyone and welcome back to the story of Wu. We're going to try out Ding Feng here. So let's see. Yeah, Circle Blade. Okay. The Shredding Chakram. Only has two power-ups, but... Alright. And for the second weapon... I think we've seen that... I do not think we've seen a dual-headed mace, in a, well, with us using it, anyway. Oh, it always happens that way, are you kidding me? Uh, ah, screw it. We'll keep it. Even the bleakest battlefield has its own aesthetic beauty. Yeah. This is a big gentleman. This is a big camp too, my goodness. Alright, I, I need to know, what's this guy doing? Hello? Really? <laughs> a worm, huh? Joe Feng's false surrender. Some letter which said many negative things about Wu helped convince the enemy. They actually fell for it, haha. <laughs> He falls. Yes. Joe Tai. Well done, Joe Fang. Now leave the cleaning up to be. Alright. Generic, generic, Ling Tong. So I wonder if I could have saved Gong Ning. I probably could have in that last. Was it the last episode? I think it was. Yeah. We have received word Joe Feng's defection has fooled Sao Chui. Good, but this plan of Joe Feng's, Zhao Feng's, sure is elaborate. His pretend defection will draw out Wei's chief controller, Sao Shui. With this, the enemy's defeat is assured. Now we will use our full force to devastate them. The Wei will be completely driven out of Hua. Wow. Huainan? I can't be that. can't be I said that. Huainan. Yes, by the way, Lu Xun, about the fake surrender letter. Hmm, yes. Zhao Feng and I wrote it together. You had to write a list of reasons the Wu should be destroyed, right? I want to know what reasons you came up with. <laughs> no, I just wrote something that would sound plausible. There was not even a sliver of truth to any of it. Oh, okay, if you say so. In the letter, it's like Sun Xuan is the worst leader ever. Uh, anyway, well, Master, please give the order to march. Hmm. Lu Xun, I will leave the command up to you. Make sure Zhao Zhao Feng's plan succeeds and kick out the way. Master Zhao Feng will lure the enemy out for us. Therefore, we must first force the enemy to begin marching. This is a big blade. Let's take down the base to the south of the castle. The enemy will surely set out in order to reclaim it. So over. Here. Oh, over here. Okay. It sure is bold of you to sneak right into the heart of enemy territory. Whatever happens, I hope you don't get found out. Master Zhou Fong has successfully deceived the enemy with a forged letter. Now, it's up to us to fight hard on the battlefield. Okay. plan to succeed, we must be able to endure their assault. Master Jotan, hmm. wait for the enemy to move. I understand. I shall wait for the proper moment. Prop. It's just a no like how does this even make sense? Boom! The enemy may need it as a rock, but it appears to be heading this way. The new forces have started to move. In that case, it is time we attacked as well. The 
enemy has responded to our movements. Now we can prepare to carry out our plan. All right. Mr. Joe Fong will lure the enemy to the strategic point. We will feign retreat and lure them into a false sense of security. My lord, this is our chance to drive off the Wu forces. We must capture the enemy base in the south. That wall. That fighting spirit and vigor. You're no match for my people. Hey, what am I doing? This is just as bad. Oh well. Like the autumn breeze scatters the golden leaves, so falls this enemy before me. Ah. The preparations for our withdrawal are complete. Now, the rest is in Joe Fong's hands. Alright, I guess we just wait. Nope, you shouldn't have. Yay! So now we're right back in. It seems our plot was a success. Well done, Joe Fong. Now's our chance. All units, prepare to attack Cao Xiu. Our plan worked. Most impressive, Master Joe Fong. The success of our plan has presented the perfect opportunity to strike. My assault shall be as fierce as a mighty lion. You performed great as always. There was no need hmm. for my strategy. You'll soon regret coming out here alone. That's pretty impressive. I'm pulling back for now. Much like the autumn breeze scatters the golden leaves. So falls this enemy before me. Impressive. Yeah, this weapon's kinda cool. This is looking like it's gonna be a pretty quick fight. <laughs> Burn! I was looking for an opportunity to test my new tactics. Even though you may have fooled me, I am still an officer of the Way Force. I shall run you through with my blade. Sure you will. Come here. Ah! Oh, caught the wrong guy. I shall return there it is. Alright, so where is this guy? Good. Try to maintain that fighting spirit and vigor. Oh, he's right in front of me. There's so many of my own officers, like I can't even see this guy. You sure know how to fight. What kind of fool would be deceived by such a plot? Ah, Simi. Alright. Suma Yi has arrived. If we defeat him, we can bring an end to this battle. So we'll see a lot more of Suma Yi in the Jin campaign. That's his thing. 
customer. Which way should I go? They're splitting up. I'll, mm, I'll go this way. And look at this guy's alternate attack. Musu attack. Got your back, Leon Shi. I shall soon put you out Time of your misery. What the? You shall pay for an Jeez. <laughs> All right. Never forget a face. Yeah, don't forget this face. Display of oh, let's see more of this guy, too. Alright, let's see the jump one. You have done well to form the task such a strength. However, such meager intake is simply incapable of Wow, alright. Is that so? That's pretty cool. We refuse to be beaten. The strength of Moon's unity is more than enough to defeat Wei. So you are Sun Chuan's bodyguard. You are perhaps the least friendly looking man I have ever seen. Oh, this is Sun Chuan's bodyguard? I didn't know that. Oh, that's okay. Never mind. Excellent. Keep it I thought he was talking about my character here. Oh, and they're coming in behind us. All right, yeah, let's do this. Come here. Wen Pin. Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's get this fight started. <laughs> God, that's Much pretty cool. Like the autumn breeze scatters the golden leaves. So falls this enemy. All right, on to uh, Sumiye. What's up with the concentration of forces in the top right? Sure. Maybe just reinforcements on the way to attack us, I guess. The lone gatekeeper. Ah, <laughs> oh, I used his head to open the door. That's great. You are a fool to come out here alone. You shall fall prey to my tactics. Hey now, there's no need for such a scary face. Well, you should take it easy for a change. I should. I would say that you appear to take it too easy. <gasps> the Locked it. You would best be prepared to but he still died. life if necessary. Goodbye, Sumi. He'll be back. That was a very dramatic fall that he had. Like, oh no. Uh, Zhao Fang's plan was a success. The Sao Shui's forces withdrew from Shi Ting. With its martial spirit, Wu Hu was a match in temperament and strength to the much larger kingdom of Wei. Every member within the Wu Kingdom knew that they would eventually have to face Wei for supremacy. In response, a proposal was made within Zhi Ye? Jian Ye? Ascendancy to the Imperial Throne. Cao Pi was appointed to the throne in place of the Han Emperor, while Liu Bei was named the Emperor of Shu within Ba Shu. Okay. Several years later, there were multiple voices calling for Sun Xuan to be named Emperor as well. However, Sun Xuan wished to think over the matter carefully. Just what did it mean to be Emperor? What role should the militaristic Sun family play? And most importantly, what was his own role in all of this? I keep pausing just to make sure I don't skip anything. 
The ambition borne by his predecessors, as well as his own thoughts and hopes for the land, began to take shape in his heart. Finally, the young tiger made a decision. He'd kill everybody. I have never been sure, I admit. Even as I worked to rule the land, driven by a mighty ambition, still I had doubts. Should the warriors of the House of Sun fight as the blades of the Han Emperor instead? Would it be wrong for me to name myself Emperor? My lord, the Han Imperial Court is now ruled by Cao Pi. It is no longer worthy of our service. Liu Bei and his son as well both assume the title of Shu Emperor. Well, they are ministers of Wu now. But still... Just what meaning does the word Emperor have? Good question. At this moment in time, is there any point in claiming that title for myself? If you become Emperor and take control of the land, all of its people will look up to you. Is that not reason enough? To become Emperor? I see. It would simplify things. That's definitely a persuasive argument. My lord. Whatever position you may choose, I promise you, I will always be right by your side. We all will, I am sure. Then, my mind is made up. As of now, I declare myself Emperor of Wu. Men, I will need your continued efforts to strengthen our rule. Having driven the Wei army from Shi Ting, Sun Xuan was named Emperor of Wu. Meanwhile, following Cao Sui's retreat, Man Chong was placed in charge of the battle against Wu. In order to increase the pressure on Wu, he built a new garrison in Hefei. Five years had passed since the Battle of Shi Ting. Sun Xuan made up his mind to attack this new fortress. Working together with uh, Zhu <laughs> Geleon of Shu on his northern campaign, the Wu army advanced on Hefei. At last, the era of, fractured, of a fractured land that had begun with the decline of the Eastern Han was about to reach its end. On one side stood Sun Xuan, the young tiger that rose up from Jiang Dong and carried with him the ambition of his father and brother. And on the other was Cao Pi, who looked to his father to follow his father's Cao Cao's path of ambition and lead the giant kingdom of Wei. Which one would emerge victorious? Which one would be the true hero to usher in a new era for the land? With the decisive battle approaching, these brave warriors gathered at Herfei Castle. Sun Xuan, Lu Xun, Zhou Tai, and Lian Qi were ready to bring the leadership of Wu to the land. And I do not think we've ever played as Sun Xuan before, have we? And this also sounds like it could be the very last fight. That's kind of what they... That story right there presented me. So, I think I'm going to end this here because I have a feeling that if this is the end, it's going to be a very long battle. And then there will be the end cutscene, I'm assuming. I could also be wrong, there could be more battles after this, so I apologize if this episode is a little shorter than usual, but if this is the last battle, this episode could just go on for a long time. So, anyway, thanks for watching this episode, everybody. I will see you next time when we fight as Sun Xuan. Take care.